Modules in PowerShell. Um, basically, they allow you to share code in a uniform way so that you can uh, essentially hand off a package to someone else and they can um, import it into their PowerShell uh, environment and use your code. And one of the great things about PowerShell is being able to share code and solving problems. So if you have um, something cool that you've made and you want to be able to share it with people so that they can easily um, use it in their environment uh, whenever they want, it's good to make a module out of it. So let's look at one example. I've created some modules. They're crappy modules, but they're modules nonetheless. I made a module for Reddit so that you can in interface with reddit.com and you'll notice that I didn't have to do anything to use it. Um, it's just simply part of my shell. So uh, what makes a module a module? You'll see that I have a module right here, but it just looks like a bunch of PowerShell code. That's pretty much all it is. The only difference is the name of the file. So you'll see here I have my test module and instead of PS1, it's called PSM1. So that M turns a PowerShell file into a PowerShell module. And you'll notice that I can no longer run it when the, within the ISE. Um, so that is pretty much all you need to do to create a module. Now let's look at something that's a little bit different inside of this module than a regular PowerShell script. We have code here. I have a function that I've created that uses um, the get date format to create a uh, unique timestamp and I also have a variable here. Now um, there's a command line down here called export module member and you actually you don't have to use that. Um, the reason that you would want to use that is because when you create a module um, only the functions will be uh, usable to the user if they import that module and if you want to have other things like variables and aliases usable for that user within your module then you need to use this commandlet called the export module member and that will allow you to define uh, different parts of your your module script um, to be accessible to that user so that's something that you have to keep in mind and here you can see um, that I, I have to define the function because I am using the export module member. So I'm saying um, get my date, not get help. And I've also defined to export the variable behold. So um, this is my module. Now, what do I do? I, I've created this module file and I want um, to share it with somebody. And so I share it with them. What would that person do to uh, import that? module into their PowerShell experience. Well basically what you have to do is find your module folder and there are different module folders and we can find them by checking the environment variable PS module path and when we look at it you'll notice that there are two um, paths in here. We have our local module path and we also have the system module path. So if a person want or if you want to be able to have anybody uh, access your module then you would put it in the system but if you want only your user to be able to access to it you would put it in there so we're gonna go ahead and open up my um, module folder and you'll see uh, I used the get reddit module earlier here's my reddit ninja module I've made a video about that I also have the Twitter Ninja, um, but what we want to use is test module right now. So the first thing that you have to do to uh, import a module into your PowerShell experience is to create a folder that is the same name as the module file. So the name of the file was test module and so the folder must be test module. And so if we look in the folder we'll see that test module is already there and when I double click it um, it's it's the same. There's nothing different there. Um, so now, how do I uh, gain access to this stuff? Because if I try to use get my well, it's there because um, I had run it earlier. But obviously, I can't access the variable. The hold is is not defined right now. So what we have to do is import the module, and you can check which modules you have access to by using import module 
and then um, whoops oh no it's get module and we want a list available so it's going to go through the system and see which modules that we have access to and it takes a little bit to do the searching so just let it do its thing do 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 all right so um, we have a bunch of stuff here but if we go up it'll tell us which ones are in our directory up here and you see we have these different modules it even tells us the exported commands there was get reddits that I used earlier um, so we want to import the test module so we just use import module test module and we can even use the uh, tab to make that happen and so now I should have access to everything within that module and obviously get date is going to work but um, behold is now defined the power of cheese or the power of modules in this case uh, so that is just a, a really quick example of um, a module there wasn't really much to it it's a PowerShell file I change it to PSM1 uh, I put a bunch of code in it and if I don't use the export module member I will have access to all the functions that I've defined within there but if I use export module member then I can define which members the uh, functions the variables the aliases the commandlets um, that I want to expose the user to and one of the cool things about um, using modules is they operate within their own space so the variables and stuff that you create won't conflict with um, other parts of that user system um, so this is just a, a very very simple module and obviously um, it's the the same way that I uh, created the the reddit ninja we can go ahead and open that up real quick um, it's just it's just a bunch of code nothing nothing fancy I didn't even use the export um, because it's just one function um, but if you want to create a more robust experience for uh, the the user let's say that you need to have a specific PowerShell version see this is a crappy module that I made because it requires PowerShell version 3 but anybody can import it and try to use it and if they do it in PowerShell 2 it's just gonna crap out but um, that's why you would want to take things a step further and we can do that using what's called a PowerShell uh, manifest file and I'll show you a manifest file we can create one we say new module manifest and we just give it a location we'll put it on the desktop and I actually have one here um, already but I'll do it again so the module manifest file is a file that you can create that will accompany um, your your module and it will basically allow you to create um, contingencies um, and also provide extra information to the people that are using your your module and in this case it's a PS1 with a D so the module was M and the module manifest is a D so when I run that let's go ahead and open up test module um, I didn't want to do it in power GUI thank you very much okay so test module so here we have um, our, our test module manifest file and basically it's a bunch of uh, value um, key pairs it, it's it's like a hash file so if you use this you don't have to use the um, the the export module member down here you'll see that there's um, the same features functions to export in this case the star will export all of them commandlets export all of them variables to export uh, aliases so it's got that same capacity but it also has much more to it um, so there's assemblies that must be loaded you can uh, check for the processor architecture you can um, make sure that there are scripts you can uh, nest other modules and and load other modules from within this module uh, 
you can add information, company name, copyright. So adding a uh, module manifest file um, creates a, a much more robust experience and all you have to do is create that file and copy it into the same folder with the same name of that file. Um, and that's really all, all I wanted to go over right now. There's so much more to modules, but this is just a really quick introduction to get you um, started with the ideas of, of uh, building module scripts and um, being able to share your code. And obviously, it was, it was really easy just to create the folder uh, or find your, your module path, create the folder, uh, copy the files into that folder, and then use uh, get modules to, to list the ones that are available and make sure that it's working and um, then you can just import it and once you've imported it it's now part of your PowerShell experience and if you want to get rid of it remove module test module and you'll see that behold I can't tab to it anymore it doesn't exist anymore it is now gone um, so PowerShell modules they're a really cool feature in PowerShell obviously sharing is caring and um, PowerShell code is fun to work with and fun to share, so uh, if you have anything worthwhile, go ahead and make a module, throw it out in the wild, see what happens. And that's it. Thanks for watching.